My name is Joanna Alec. I'm an Estonian figure skater and I have skated all my life. It's all I know, it's who I am. The concept is simple. I got a bit bored of endless inspirational videos of the big dogs out there. The multi-million, multi-billion CEOs, entrepreneurs and creative geniuses that have been playing at the top for so long they almost lost touch with the start of the journey. I want to hear more stories about the fighters out there, the up-and-comers, the underdogs, about the early days of the journey. This is The Journey to Success. I've said it before, I'll say it again. To me, skating, it's really, it's a form of art, but it, interestingly, it's like a mix of emotions, passion, and just, for me, it's everything. It's a bit of an escape, but while I'm at it, I get to create this beautiful movement, which it's, it's just like, it makes me be in contact with myself, with my body and my feelings, and it's just, I guess everyone needs their way of expressing themselves and showing what the, what is going on in themselves. And I think for me, skating is exactly what it is. It's my way of expressing who I am and what I like to do and how I feel inside. It doesn't matter if I'm skating on a rink like this or on a random patch of ice. It's, it always has a sort of certain meaning for me. It's never just empty skating. It, I gain something every time I, I get to do it. And it's really, really wonderful that I got to find this in my life. I started skating when I was five years old in Estonia. My parents took me to a rink and <laughs> that's, that's kind of what really made my whole life since then. At the age of eight, I already started traveling, competing, training in various places in the world, which led me to live in Russia, Canada, States, a bit time in France. Uh, so really, I've been all over the place. It's, it's been uh, quite a life and quite a childhood. With skating, I've had to face quite a few truths in my life about, um, well, mainly about eating disorders. So today I'm, I'm quite a health enthusiast because I'm one of the, I don't like the word survivor, but I guess in a way I am because I really went through uh, various eating disorders that took quite a toll in my personal life for quite some time because figure skating is mentally a very tough sport. You face a lot of challenges about staying very petite, but at the same time being very strong. Quick, quick, quick. When I was 15, I knew that, yeah, this is what I want to do. Skating is my life. At around 18, I knew that, okay, I guess I won't be doing that my whole life because you really understand that there's other things in life and I was struggling with eating disorders and the thing about not having any social life was a bit distressing me and I just felt a bit of a FOMO, so to say. But then my mom really helped me with come join the brand, you'll, you'll find your way there. And I think that this was really like a life, life west for me in a way. So I was really lucky that I uh, had the chance to go and join the brand. At first I didn't know anything, but I found that I'm quite creative. I think it's because of sports. Skating is all about creativity, you expressiveness and all of this. So I really put all the good things that I learned from sports into the brand. So the main thing that I took with me from skating was that the whole sports was about finding out who you are and really excelling at making that person as good as possible because we're all born with different talents and I quite early on realized what my talents are not and what are my talents so I was really focused on really making the good good parts better and then just I guess having faith that things work out by nature I'm a person who really believes that things do work out and life has really proven that yeah if, if you put your mind into something you will succeed and you just have to give it some time so that was how everything got started and it was tough in the beginning just over time things got easier 
and more fluent. I was getting more creative, passionate. I was seeing results. That's the main thing. Once you start seeing at least a little bit of results, that's when everything just like you get more power from it. And, and it's really, there's so many areas in life where you can find these examples about life just showing you what your next step should be. And uh, well, then the pandemic hit. I don't think it needs extra stressing that the pandemic was a heavy hit for everyone. Our market was shut completely. And I obviously, I don't want to complain. It was like this for almost everyone, everywhere. And I knew it at the start that as soon as the market will be closed, uh, all I have to do is get creative. First, I really started developing myself and uh, everyone at the company started also seeing that this is the time to really make all the flaws in the company better. We're sustainable, so we started working more on creating the sustainability even stronger within our brand. I started to take more inspiration from outside. With the rinks closed, I've been very lucky to be able to skate outside a lot, and that led me to create this outdoor skating collection, for example. I used everything that was still open or available to me and I was writing a lot and I think that's like the best tip is just to start writing all your thoughts, put them down, start intertwining them together and try to see what are these little nooks about your thoughts that others haven't really noticed and that's, that's how you create your niche. So I think the pandemic really helped us create even a better niche for the whole brand. And that's only because we really took our time to start noticing it. The main thing this whole pandemic taught us and me personally is not to make any plans. I, I'm one to always make plans. My whole life has been planned out with, with the sports. You live your life with certain plans. You, you go to school, you graduate get married, kids. We all know the textbook version, but I think the pandemic really threw all of our plans upside down. So now I've really put all my effort into creating short-term plans and really short-term goals. And I see that it works better for me. I'm way more productive, way more successful in my uh, little endeavors. And I'll definitely keep that going for as long as I can. I guess I can say that these last few years have been very transformative. Going from a figure skater to just normal life. But one thing that hasn't changed is my understanding of how success works. And main thing is focus on yourself and on your goals and put in the work. I really, in all honesty, believe that if you look in the mirror and you can say you've done everything you could, then the results will be there. If I could install any of it to others, I hope this would be something, the understanding of you are your life's project. The one thing that matters most is your life project, you, yourself, and what you create of yourself. And I think that's very beautiful.